What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Today we're playing Zombie Army 4 Dead War on Google Stadia. Personally, I'm very excited about this because I feel Google Stadia needed a zombie game for a breakthrough. So in previous videos, we played Serious Sam, The Collection, and Doom Eternal. If there are games that you would like to see played, let me know in the comments below. So let's talk about our game setup here. We've got the Google Stadia controller on the bottom. We've got the power support claw in the middle and the power support claw holds the Google Pixel 4 XL. For more Stadia gameplay and information, we have a playlist dedicated to this platform, which you can click on in the corner of this video. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are, we have Zombie Army Dead War 4, and this is the main screen here. We've got a few options. We've got Campaign, we've got Horde, we've got Weekly Event, we've got Records, we've got the Store. We're gonna keep things simple. We're just gonna jump right into the Campaign. So here we are at the Campaign screen, and you can see we have Continue Campaign. I was just learning the controls earlier. Just wanna let people know that. I didn't really get too far. But that being said, we're gonna hit X because that's gonna start a new solo campaign. And we're gonna go with medium. So now we have player set up. Let's see what we can do. I wanna see if maybe we could change the character first. So it looks like we have three character options. We've got June, we've got Carl, we've got Shola, and then there are extras. Looks like you have to pay for them. I'm feeling like being a guy right now, so we're gonna roll with Carl. Carl! Hey, Carl! So we're back at player setup and we're gonna scroll up to our weapons and we're just gonna click on one of them, see what we can do here. Uh, looks pretty straightforward. I'm guessing that there are upgrades available as you get through the game. You can also buy better guns. So we're just gonna keep things simple. We're gonna start the game. And the nice thing about Stadia is again, all of this is streamed. It's not downloaded onto the Google Pixel 4 XL and it just runs smoothly. You can see we've got video playing here really smooth. And the gameplay, when you see this happen, it's gonna be simply amazing. So here we have some background information. We're just gonna skip right through that. And here we are, Milan, Italy. Uh, so you can see, again, this is gonna be really smooth. The reason why I do this on the Pixel 4 XL it's just to show you in the worst possible condition, we're doing this all over Wi-Fi. There is no hardwired connection to our internet and this just works flawlessly. So again, the video footage is going to be simply amazing. We're gonna have Carl step right out of the truck here. Oh, he's ready to go. Okay, so here we go. We got Carl marching. So if we press and hold down on Y, that brings up a weapons wheel and we can change between guns. We're gonna go with the pistol. And if we hold that left bottom trigger, you can see we can kinda aim in here. We're gonna just run right in. So again, this looks really, really good. It's playing really smooth. There is no lag. That's important to mention. And internet connection is huge. So if you're playing Stadia, on a Wi-Fi network, you want to make sure that you optimize your whole setup. You want to place your devices, preferably on a five gigahertz connection, because that's going to give you the fastest speed. Now let's go ahead here. Oh, he's seen us. I, I'm not that fast yet, guys. <laughs> okay, I got a headshot. Feeling pretty confident. So we've got reload, that's going to be X. And we can just move in slowly. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so we hit that top left trigger. It's, it's an old fashioned curb stomp. So this takes a little practice here. I like getting headshots though. So I mean, I'm patient because I want the best possible shot that I can get. So we're making our way through here. Uh, they're they're kind of slowly approaching, um, but when you're seen, that's a whole different story. Let's see if we could uh, swap guns here. We're gonna go with the shoddy. I imagine that's what that is. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got the whole crowd coming. We got a block party. Uh, you are breaking protocol right now. Uh, so we're doing a reload. You got the little reload uh, loading circle there. That's kind of cool. Um, just shows you what is going on there, how long your reload is gonna take. Um, I imagine in a game like this, we don't wanna waste all our bullets. We do wanna make it to the checkpoints. We just wanna shoot who we have to. Traversal, press A to traverse over obstacles. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. 
I need to really figure this out. So I need to put you down. Okay, so we could traverse. You can traverse over like that little part, but you can't traverse cars, unfortunately. I don't know why. Um, anyways, we're gonna head to the checkpoint here. We can climb it. Um, okay, good, we're up, we're up. So this looks like a old military war zone. You've got all these barriers here. Okay. Okay, we hear voices. Okay, get inside. This is like a safety zone. Okay, so we gotta go ahead and talk to Bruno. Uh, apparently he's been waiting for us. So let's go see what Bruno wants. Talk to Bruno. Okay, Bruno. Hey, Bruno. Let's talk Bruno. So we got the star here. It's gonna tell us where to go which is really nice. Okay, we got another star here. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the sniper rifle and if we aim and then hold R1, it lets us aim smoother. Ooh, let's see if we could get this guy. Uh oh so you got like the slow motion shot ooh that is pretty cool i like that okay so we've got one zombie cleared we're gonna zoom in on this guy i wonder if we get that kill cam all the time nope so it didn't show up that time come on boy come on there we go these zombies are persistent there we go so we're gonna go ahead and swap back to the pistol. I like the pistol. Alright, oh, we gotta hold to open the door. It's high security around here. Okay, so that's the first chapter complete. We're doing pretty good. So we get some XP here, we get a rank up. Let's press and hold to open the crate. Oh, we get a frag grenade. Hold R1 to aim and throw an equipped grenade. So we're gonna tap to pick that up. I wonder if that's in the weapons wheel. So yeah, we've got the frag in the weapons wheel. I don't know if there's really a safe spot to try this. Okay, so I've got the frag. We're not gonna, we're not gonna throw it though. We're gonna press A to cancel. But yeah, you would you would select in the weapons wheel. It still shows as your gun selected, but if you press R1, it goes and aims it. And then most importantly, you want to cancel out. We don't want to destroy our uh, safe home here. So we've got more stuff we can grab. So there's a tutorial on weapons upgrades. We're not going to worry about that right now. We actually want to get to more missions. Okay, so we're going to keep moving here to the star. We need to, oh, what do we got here? Open the crate. We got to press and hold to open it. We've got a med kit. That's going to come in handy. And then we're going to press and hold to open up the door. So we've got zombies, we've got earthquakes. I like games like this too because you don't have like an actual tutorial to go through. You just start playing and that's how it works. Yeah, oh, this isn't looking good. Ooh. Jeez. So we've got war zombies now. They're equipped with gear. And this is where it gets interesting. This is the kind of stuff that um, I like to show here. We want to try to survive the ambush. I got to get like as many headshots as I can. Okay, so we got one headshot. I got another. Oh, there are propane tanks here. Okay, so we're good there. Okay, we're reloading. Okay, headshots count. This is where you save bullets. So we're doing good. Reloading. This kind of has a Resident Evil kind of play, if you've played that. Oh. Okay, headshots. Uh-oh. Okay, headshots. We need headshots. 
Oh. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Ah. Uh, okay, we're we're starting to turn red here. Um. Oh snap! We've got uh grenades, right? Let's uh throw a grenade here and see what happens. Come on. Okay, we can cancel out of that. I'm gonna get this guy. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, that guy had a lot of uh, ambition there. He was motivated. Ah, getting headshots is not easy. We're killing it though. Oh. Okay, so it automatically switches. Oh no, there's a guy behind me. Okay, we need to get out the shoddy. We're not playing anymore. Let's see. You all know, messed with the wrong person. Uh oh. So they start. Oh no, they're coming everywhere. Okay, so we got a second chance perk. When downed and the second chance perk is equipped, a recovery can be triggered by killing an enemy. Uh oh. Ah, uh, we're gonna. We gotta check all our surroundings. So it's it's getting heavy here. They're dropping from the sky. We gotta survive this. How do you how do you survive this? Okay. Oh shoot. Um. So there, there's a lot going on here, and um, that is pretty damn crazy. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and end this here and give our final thoughts. So I have to say this game feels really good. I've played Resident Evil in the past, and this has a Resident Evil feel to it. You can also see that this plays really smoothly through a Wi-Fi connection. Again, we're not hardwired. It's all being streamed to this setup here, which is simply amazing. I'm really glad to see that there's finally a game like this, a zombie themed game that has finally come to Google Stadia. I think that's a pretty big deal. I think people are really big zombie fans and I think that's important to have. I think this game might possibly put Google Stadia on the map. So that is pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to head on over to the Amazon storefront link found in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I would like to buy and anything that you do buy from the storefront does support the channel. The second way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now, liking and subscribing are important. Those are your ways to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers. If new viewers see lots of likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the videos are helpful and the channel is worth watching. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon, check in out.